Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering if you're smart. While a great report card doesn't define all types of intelligence, there are a few bizarre habits a lot of intelligent people happen to share. Here are some of the weird habits smart people tend to share, according to psychological research. 1. You're a night owl. Can't go to sleep on time? Not just on time, but a reasonable hour? A lot of intelligent people share this habit according to research. The London School of Economics and Political Science conducted a study that found that people who often find themselves going to bed later have higher IQs. The researchers explained in their study that the Savannah IQ interaction hypothesis suggests that more intelligent individuals are more likely to acquire and espouse evolutionarily novel values and preferences than less intelligent individuals, but general intelligence has no effect on the acquisition and espousal of evolutionarily familiar values and preferences. They go on to explain that one example of such choice within genetic constraint is circadian rhythms. Survey of ethnographies of traditional societies suggests that nocturnal activities were probably rare in the ancestral environment. So the hypothesis would predict that more intelligent individuals are more likely to be nocturnal than less intelligent individuals. The analysis of the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent Health confirms the prediction. With such an instinctive behavior, it seems you can't help but sense a danger in the night. Or you just really like staying up late and watching YouTube videos. 2. You live in a disorderly environment. Is your room a mess? Your workspace? Your hair? Well, a messy environment might not be so bad if you value creativity. According to a research experiment from the University of Minnesota, Participants in a disorderly room were more creative than participants in an orderly room, the study says. Why does creativity spark in a messy environment? Research scientist Jonathan Y, PhD, says that smarter people tend to have creativity as a trait, which can lead to their messy lifestyle or room. Y guesses that it's not messiness that helps creativity, but creativity which may create messiness. He goes on to say that such people tend to get lost in thought, focusing on a problem or issue, and cleanliness becomes of less importance than focusing on the problem at hand. While a messy room sounds great for all artists out there, it may not be great when it comes to your food choices. In the University of Minnesota's study, their first experiment showed that relative to the participants in a disorderly room, participants in an orderly room chose healthier snacks and donated more money, to clean or not to clean. 3. You like to doodle. Do you find doodling to be a hobby of its own? Your memory may just thank you. A 2009 study found that their subjects in a group that doodled performed better on a monitoring task. And on a surprise memory test, they recalled 29% more information than the other group. What exactly were they doodling? They simply shaded printed shapes while listening to a phone call. So next time you have to remember something important during that class lecture, Bring the coloring books, not the textbooks. I'm just kidding, kind of. 4. You swear. Timothy J., PhD, a well-known expert in cursing, conducted a study with his colleagues and found that those who came up with more curse words generally had a larger vocabulary. J. told Medical Daily that taboo or swear word fluency is positively correlated with overall verbal fluency. Dr. J told Medical Daily, the more words you generated in one category meant the more words you generated in another category, orally and verbally. Time to bring out the swear jar and start counting your quarters. Be prepared to say goodbye as you test out this theory. How many swear words can you come up in your head in 30 seconds? Share with us the number only, folks. 5. You daydream a lot. Catch yourself daydreaming while working on that gruesome homework assignment? It might not be so bad after all. There may be some benefits in taking a quick daydream break while working on another simple task, according to research. A 2012 study from the University of California found that when subjects engage in an undemanding task during an incubation period from a demanding task, it led to substantial improvements in performance on previously encountered problems, according to the study. All participants were given a demanding task. Some subjects were given a break, some no break, while some were given an undemanding task to complete that maximized mind-wandering before they went back to the demanding task. 
According to the study, critically, the context that improved performance after the incubation period was associated with higher levels of mind-wandering. They go on to suggest that this data suggests that engaging in simple external tasks that allow the mind to wander may facilitate creative problem solving. So taking a quick doodling or coloring break might not be so bad when you're faced with a tough problem on that next assignment. It may give your head some time to work out the problem in the back of your mind. That is while you're bringing to life an Elmo on the pages of your coloring book. Oh look, he has wings! 6. You like sick jokes According to a 2017 study from the University of Vienna, subjects who enjoyed sick jokes often scored higher on nonverbal and verbal intelligence. 159 adults rated sick cartoons, and then researchers measured participants using psychological and standard intelligence tests. What were the types of cartoons the subjects enjoyed? A kind of humor that treats sinister subjects like death, disease, deformity, handicap, or warfare with bitter amusement, and presents such tragic, distressing, or morbid topics in humorous terms. The subjects who enjoyed these types of cartoons scored higher on nonverbal and verbal intelligence. Time to open up the back of the newspaper and read the funnies. So, do you have some of these weird habits? Do you think it's because you're smart? Or just can't stop watching midnight YouTube videos and doodling? Not to mention the swear jar. Let us know your habits in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend who has one of these habits. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. Thanks for watching.